Well, hello everybody, Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. I got my United States Mint 2023 Collector's Guide in the mail. I wanna talk about some things going on in the United States Mint and use this guide right here as a reference. Um, some things good, some things maybe not good. I kinda of wanna hear your opinion down below in the comments too, for sure. But let's go over this guide and just see what it has to offer and show. Well, hello everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Um, so connecting America through coins, right there you can see on the top left. Absolutely, that's kind of the goal, is it not? Connect America through coins. The youth needs to get involved and we need to help them do that. And also, uh, any of us that have any kind of knowledge on coins and the hobby and how things go, we need to help other you know groups too to get that information rather than just hold it away and and die with that you know secret stuff um by the way can you hear that thunderstorm going on right now uh right outside of my door craziness so here's a nice little message from the director and she kind of reiterates that you know coin collecting is all about the history and sharing the love of the hobby with youth and um how it's uh, coin collecting right here it's an invaluable tradition that is often passed down from generation to generation. And we need more of that, don't we? Yes, absolutely. So, uh, United States Men, as you, as you may have know, uh, known, is that they're doing this product subscription thing now, which is great because now you're fighting less when it comes time to uh, have a product released. You're not sitting there on the computer trying to be the first one. You can have you know whatever you want set to, hey, I'm buying this, I'm buying five of them. And, um, you know, next year or whatever, when they come out with new ones, I'm buying five of those as well. And you can cancel any time. No problem if you do that. Uh, totally your choice. And right here, I'm going to read this part, which seems to be one of the big draws to it. You enjoy free shipping. All subscription products re free, receive free budget shipping. So relax to the knowledge that you'll never miss an installment of your favorite United States Mint program. So... It is kind of nice that you're not sitting there having to fight, going through the website. As you know, during the times when a big release comes out, um, you're definitely battling other people on that day of release. So in some cases, if there is a subscription for certain items, you could avoid some of that. So that'll be lovely. Um, a lot of these coins that have come out, as you know, have come up in price. So like the regular proof coins and uncirculated coins, those have been coming up in price over the last few years. Right here, as you can see, a 2023 one ounce proof coin, the West Point Mint, up to $80 right now for just one coin. So you're definitely going beyond the uh, silver is silver ideology there, and you're paying a premium for a proof coin in a, uh, well, you know, as you can see. In my opinion, US Mint, kind of a garbagey package. Uh, I wish the packaging was a little bit better for what you pay, but what can you do about that <clears throat> if you're listening? Um, some of these sets right here, as you know, too, have a really, really nice um, low mintage. And some people like that, some people don't. People that don't are like, man, I really want to make sure I get that coin and I'll be sad if I don't because of the low mintage. The collectors, though, that really want something rare, enjoy that low mintage. So some of these products have it. It's best to go to their website, usmint.gov, and look over the products as they're close to coming out because sometimes that information is only put on the website towards the very, very close part of those coins coming out. But you'll see the actual mintage numbers and what is scheduled to be available to the hobby. Sometimes you gotta be, um, you got to be careful with the mintage versus the product allowance. Um, you don't want to get confused by those. But if a coin only has... A, let's say a mintage of 5,000 uh, period across all products. That's all it's going to ever put out, 5,000. Most likely, that's going to be a winner, and you're going to want to try to grab something like that with a low mintage. Um, you know, just my opinion on that. So here's some of the annual sets that they're making, as you can see. And, you know, I got this book. I didn't subscribe to anything. It's probably just because I bought from the United States Mint before, and so they send me these. So most likely a lot of you who have bought from the United States Mint also have these right here. Um, here's the Buffalo United States Mint. If you're listening, we would like smaller Buffaloes, 10th ounce Buffaloes. Uh, that would be so much fun. So maybe in the future, that right there, to get people interested, bring some 10th ounce Buffaloes into our lives. Four nines fine, please. That would be lovely. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? We got some Platinum Coins. 
Platinum's a rough, rough coin to buy into, right? Because you pay such a high premium. Here you can see you know, almost $1,600 for the Platinum, whereas Platinum is teetering close to around the $1,100 mark. So you really, really pay up for Platinum right now. And uh, Palladium, again, same thing. They can't even put the pricing in on the Palladium in there because it's just crazy. You look at things like the 2023 America Buffalo one ounce gold proof coin. It's proof, sure, a little extra work. I mean, a little extra work is done to these proof coins. Not a crazy ordeal, but they sure tacked on a healthy, crazy price to these proof coins. Look at this one ounce proof buffalo. Um, almost $3,000. It's getting close right there. To me, that's a little excessive, but whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, I have found that if I wait a few years on things like proof buffaloes, I can find them at the coin shops that I frequent for much less than when people originally bought them from the United States Mint. That's just what I've found. That could change. Your mileage may vary. Um, here is a play off the, what was it, 2021 um, American Liberty coin now. And this is actually a metal, so I believe that there is no um, a dollar amount on these coins. Well, I'm sorry, metals uh, right now. Still a beautiful piece right there. And if you did not get on get in on the gold piece at the time because it was awfully expensive, then that might be something you would be interested in. Beautiful, beautiful round, let's be honest, or metal, uh, beautiful piece. Um, these are awesome. These are what's going to be coming out this year in 2023. And this is this year's American Liberty, uh, you know, offering and uh, very, very pretty. So I think it, does it say anything about it? Not on here. Um, on the information on the website, you get a little bit more info about it. Apparently this uh, particular, I think it's an oak tree. Um, I think it's one of the longest uh, living organisms on, on planet Earth, from what I gathered. So that's why they're using that right there. And then the eagle on the opposite side. So no people on these coins right here. Just gonna be an eagle and a tree. So kind of fun, kind of interesting, something a little different. Has a lot of meaning behind it if you read the information on the website. So I will be looking forward to this this year, this American Liberty in 2023. Uh, very, high, very excited to see that. Uh, they got a silver version right here. It's also a metal, just kind of like how the uh, Bucking Bronco was. So if you uh, need to spend a little bit less, then that might be your your uh, chance right there. And you can see the silver version is still going to be $82. The American Liberty High Relief Gold Coin to be determined. So expect it to be over the $3,000 mark like the Buffalo. Just expect that. Um, Native American Heritage. Uh, cool pieces right there. Um, listen, I in the, in the past I was not into these dollar coins. I'm getting more and more into these right now. Um, a lot of these are actually really, really kind of, you know, they have a lot of cool artwork on them. And so I've put them to the wayside because they're not silver, they're not gold. Uh, but I, I have kind of noticed lately, man, they're, they're getting pretty cool. So it might be hard for me soon to not go ahead and just buy uh, a roll of these right here. So cool pieces. Um, American Women Quarters Program. You know, if you are in America and you've done any kind of uh, <clears throat> shopping with cash and you've got some quarters back, you may see a, a woman on your quarters. So there you go. And uh, these right here probably... A little bit better condition, I would imagine, if you buy them right from the mint rather than all circulated and whatnot. But you can get an entire proof set right here of them. So that's an option right there. Man, expensive for that, huh? Uh, the American Women Quarters proof set, silver proof set, so 80 bucks. Okay, that, that explains it. And these are, of course, triple nine fine because the United States Mint does no, no longer does the 90% silver, which I think is unfortunate. Uh, that was a neat thing that we did. Um, even kind of helps against counterfeiters, doesn't it? To have the... Um, the 90% silver as opposed to pure silver. Anyways, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Less interested in these ornaments. Those are usually not for me. I think I've gotten one in the past that I have on the tree still. Let's see, Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. So a lot of these right now are available for the subscription, so you don't gotta sit there and fight. You can actually look at this, if you have the book, you can just use your phone, your camera and your phone, and you can scan right there and it'll probably bring you right up to the subscribe page so you can just get them as they come out nice and easy. Uh, some of these coins will probably be a little bit more uh, collectible than others. And I'd imagine this right here is going to be the one this year, the 2023 Morgan and Peace Dollar two coin reverse proof set. 
little little pricey, just a little bit more, but you get a two coin set and it's going to be reverse proof. So that'd be the first time that we see a reverse proof Morgan and Peace dollar. So that'll be interesting. Uh, let's see, what does this say? As a set, Morgan and Peace vividly illustrate our nation's history, minted together again in 2021. They quickly sold out. Limited inventory available. Get yours before it's gone. Uh, well, as far as I know, they haven't come out yet. I believe they begin coming out in July. Um, and then as the months start to trickle, you start to get some of these other offerings here. But that'll be one of the more exciting things for 2023. Uh, whether it's super exciting or not, that's your opinion. Um, it's just a more exciting thing that's going on in the United States Mint this year. To me, American Liberty and Peace and Morgan Dollar are the big draws to me this year. Uh, here we go, some American Innovation $1 coin programs. Again, you know, beautiful coins, beautiful artwork. Um, I haven't really got into these yet, and I'm probably going to get into them when the price goes up and I've missed an opportunity, but they are, they are pretty. They have some pretty artwork to them. But again, not silver and gold coinage, so I tend to shy away from that stuff when it's new like this. Uh, here's some nice metals, pretty cool stuff. So if you're a metal collector, um, tend to be kind of expensive, and again, you're not getting silver or gold, you're just getting a big bronze metal. So if that's your thing for this particular you know, cause and what's going on, this is the African American history medals this time. So if that's what you like, then the United States Mint has it for you. Some of the art is uh, definitely decent. Some is less decent, I'll just say that. Uh, presidential coins and medals. So some of these medals are actually pretty cool. I'm not overly interested in any of these medals right here. Look at this, look at this little battle right here. How cool is that, huh? So they actually have this year, you can get either the Barack Obama medal or the Donald J. Trump medal. I would imagine that one of those sells out or sells uh, a much heavier than the other and I will keep my opinion to myself but I think that if you know this channel at all you'll know that which one I believe would be more likely to do well and uh, I wish they would post the numbers on how many have sold of each that would be very interesting to me and the military medals I enjoy the military medals a lot although I'm not a service member and uh, I just want to say that you know if you are thank you for your service of course plenty of you guys and girls watch my channel uh, excuse me men and women my goodness my, my, my mistake uh, but a lot of these have really cool art I think uh, really like them I just as somebody who's not a service member I feel like I don't buy them to give a service member the chance to get one of these so they're not uh, having to fight me for it but great artwork really enjoy it if you know somebody who is a service member what a cr what a great gift I mean this would be something they would really enjoy uh, right here you can see the Coast Guard, uh, the Navy, Air Force, and the Marines. So um, Army's hiding somewhere on there, but yeah, that would be really cool for, you know, somebody, like I said, that you know that is a service member. And there is the whole thing. I won't show you the very back because it gives away my personal info. But yeah, tell me what you think um, about the U.S. Mint this year. Are you excited about anything at all? Like I said, for me, it's going to be the um, American Liberty High Relief uh, gold and probably going to stay away from the silver since I'm going to focus on the gold and then the um, Morgan and Peace dollars will probably be what I get into this time. Um, I'll show you quickly just for fun the 2021 version of that high relief coin and you should see a horse and an eagle and that's it. No people on this one right here. I thought that was fun. Very interesting and I thought it was a great great coin very very happy with it i believe it won uh, coin of the year and uh or at least it was nominated for it i believe it actually won though and so that was actually fun to see and get a hold of i wish we had more of the eagle that would be my only big complaint rather than part of the head not even the whole head so but still very interesting very cool seeing the um the mustang or the bucking bronco whatever it truly is on one side is fantastic so bada bang and the case wasn't too bad but i wish the case was a little bit better in the past the cases have been just so much fun uh let's see an american mustang horse so there you go there's the official type of horse it is but 
that was last time around. Very expensive offering. A lot of people said I'm not getting it because it's so expensive. Uh, prices have gone up pretty decently on these right here. So if you did get one, then don't worry about the price anymore because the price has gone up from over your buying point from the U.S. map. So give yourself a little pat on the back for taking a chance. And I'll get that <laughs> back together, I guess, on my own because that seems to be uh, not wanting to go back in the hole. That's what she said. I got to go for now. I appreciate you for watching. Spectacular is out. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school, and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit, and I'm going to start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah.